Hello everyone, I want to show you how to unlock this secret vendor. She's located here in Bagbathal. It is called Broker's Smithy. And when you first talk to them, nothing happens. It's just one simple dialogue, but nothing else. And that is because there's a quest that you have to complete in order to unlock this vendor. Let me tell you why you may want to do this quest to unlock what she has. She sells some of the best weapons and armor in the game. And not just that, but also once she's unlocked, you get a new style of enhancement, which is the Dwarven. All the other three enhancement styles, the Elven, the Batali, the Vermondian, they all change the top three values. The weight either goes up or down, the strength and the magic. The Dwarven is the only style, as far as I know, that aside from changing those three values, it also changes the last one, the knockdown power or the knockdown resist, depending whether it's a weapon or an armor. If it's an armor, it's resist, and if it's a weapon, it's power. And to me, I think it's probably one of the best ones to upgrade your weapons and armor, depending on your vocation. So with that being said, let's talk about how to complete this quest. You start first in Vernworth. You want to go to the noble quarters where the castle is. And then you're looking for this NPC. His name is Roman. He's a soldier and you usually find him just roaming around in the gardens in that area. You're going to talk to him. He will basically give you a sword that needs to be fixed and your task is to find someone to do so. The best way is probably just grab this quest because it doesn't have a timer before you progress too far into the main story so that you don't have to go back and forth. But if you're already late in the game, that's fine too. Just travel back, Oxcar, Fairy Stone, it's all good. And what you're going to do is take that soul to back Bathal and you're going to take it to the broker guy. There's going to be some conversation, some back and forth, etc, etc. And his apprentice will end up helping you get this sword fixed. Now, the quest is pretty straightforward. It's not difficult to find or follow at all. But I do want to give you a couple of tips along the way. So in order to forge the sword, she will ask you to gather some materials for her. She will mark the location of the cave that you have to go to find this material and it's called Glimmer Call. You have to find 15 of those. Even though in the giving screen it will allow you to add 25, you actually don't need 25, you just need to be 15 and you should be able to find 15 in one run inside that cave. You only grab those ones that are glowing. So you have to turn off your lantern to see the ones that are glowing, get those, and leave the ones that are not glowing. If you pick up the ones that are not glowing, it's not going to serve you any purpose other than add weight to you. And as far as I can tell, they have no use whatsoever in the game. So make sure that you only grab those that are glowing. I was able to grab 17 in one run. And when you go back, make sure you give her either 15, 20, or 25. If you throw in something like a 17, an odd number in there, the menu won't allow you to deliver. So just keep that in mind. Once you deliver all of that stuff, she will go back and work on the sword. Now, on the next time that you visit her, she will be gone to the forge in the volcanic island. And now you have to go and check on her, make sure that she is safe. Tip number two. When you reach there to the volcanic island, it will be marked on your map and it's also pretty simple to find. Uh, you should not be able to miss the actual cave. Go in, there's going to be enemies, fight them off, a couple of chests here and there. However, there is one chest that you do not want to miss. Halfway through in the cave, uh, pay attention that there's going to be a right turn that leads you to the outside. And there's going to be a platform that you can see down and there's going to be a chest there. You want to jump down, grab that chest. It will give you the cinder spine, one of the best weapons in the game. 
and it's free so you want to definitely get that one after you get it you can just drop down and go back up again and once you reach to the room uh, the forge i think where she is there's going to be two chests on each side you're not gonna miss those you know grab those exit and that's it for that part the next time when you see her she will have now the sword ready and fixed and the final step for you to do is to go back to Vernworth and give the sword back to the same guy and you will find him roughly in the gardens in the same location and that will now complete conclude the entire quest and the next time when you go back to back Bathal and you see her she will be the full-fledged blacksmith in that location and you will be able to see everything that she sells and in my case there was also a 10% discount I think her affinity I don't know if the quest helped reach her affinity to max level or what but I kept giving her flowers as well just to kind of see if I could maintain that discount and uh, I think I may have overdone it on the affinity because now when I'm there she actually follows me around she will completely just leave her station and just follow me around the city so that i thought that that was funny so there you have it hopefully it helps thank you all for watching i love you all and i'll see you in the next video